Good morning, I'm Garth Chetty. I'm a fourth generation Kangaroo Valley dairy farmer and my family has been farming the land in Kangaroo Valley for over a hundred years. I'm also president of the Kangaroo Valley Historical Society and today here at the Kangaroo Valley Pioneer Farm Museum we're going to show you a specific object that has done a great deal for the dairy industry. So I'm Arthur Morehouse, the son of Frank Osborne Morehouse who came to uh, Nowra in 1928 and was involved in the installation of milking equipment and found the cleaning of them was a real problem and hence he evolved the Morehouse dairy boiler. Let's have a look at it Garth. Yeah, this is the Morehouse boiler. It was made completely of copper. Dad came up with the idea back in 1928 as a way of sterilising the uh, milking machines of that era was one of the biggest problems was washing. The farmer had only been using buckets and washing his cows but with the advent of milking machines they had to be sterilised and with this unit they could get 10 gallons of boiling water in 10 minutes which could be drawn off to the bucket and taken to the uh, units in the dairy to uh, wash them up. Yeah, my father owned one of these and it certainly revolutionised the way we could clean and sterilise, having continuous hot water because you could fill it again and, and keep drawing off in a bucket. The dairies are only small, so they didn't need hundreds of gallons of water. And Dad came up with this idea that if he could devise a unit which would heat water quickly and cheaply, the water goes right down to the bottom of the unit here and the flue is on the inside of the water so all the heat is transferred through to the water and hence the 10 gallons in 10 minutes. These were made in our factory at Bomaderry and Nowra and uh, they went right up the north coast uh, all over <laughs> New South Wales, anywhere where there was dairying. Let's, let's go over to my farm and um, we'll just see what has changed. So this is how we sterilise the dairy now, from a 45 litre Morehouse, this is now an 800 litre off-peak insulated uh, hot water system. In the 30s, when uh, Morehouse boilers were becoming into vogue, that uh, a lot of the farms didn't have electricity. Of course the old chip heater or Morehouse boiler was uh, ideal for that situation. Today, nothing is touched, everything is done automatically with just one press of the button. That's a far cry from using, just carrying the bucket with the hot water, possibly spilling it on yourself. Everything today is done automatically. The Morehouse boiler was quite effective for the small dairy with only 20 cows, but today we're milking 340 cows through a 20-side herringbone dairy. What a breakthrough the Morehouse boiler was. Uh, did you get any recognition for it from the dairy industry? Back at a reception in the Sydney Town Hall in 1952, uh, Jack Ferguson, he was the chairman of the milk board in that era, said that the Morehouse dairy boiler was the greatest single contribution to good quality milk for Sydney. This is the Morehouse boiler that was presented to Mr Frank Morehouse on his retirement. It's a half size one and uh, came complete with the ice bucket to put the champagne in. <laughs> <laughs> 